So this is my basement. It looks like a pretty normal basement to all, uh, you know, to your normal eyes. Right. But when you go behind the curtain here, as you've already seen, we have this monster. We have the shred <laughs> shed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey guys, if you love all things skateboarding, BMX, and 80s uh, nostalgia, you're in for a real treat today. We're here with my friend Matt Picker in his basement, where he's turned it into an incredible old school skate shop. Yes. And if you are into uh, skateboarding history at all, you may already know Matt as a co-host of the Bones Brigade Audio Show podcast, where you guys explore the rich history of one of the most influential skate teams ever. That's true. Yep. Yes. And. Um, We'll ask you some more questions about that, but I'll just say real quick to you guys, if you love 80s and early 90s skateboarding history at all, you definitely need to check out the podcast. That's so rad. Yeah. So Matt, Thank I you. know you've been a passionate uh, flatland rider and yep. skateboarder for most of your life, and man, yeah. your love for the sport really <laughs> shines through in every corner down here. <laughs> yeah. I'm curious, like what got you, like what planted the idea, I want to create a skate shop in my basement. So it actually goes back to when I was a little kid and my basement used to be the, in the house I grew up in. Mm -hmm. It was an unfinished basement, and we would skate down there in the winters. Okay. My dad had built a clubhouse in the middle of this basement when I was a kid. Uh -huh. And it was like, basically the basement was cut in half. There was a clubhouse that kind of surrounded the hot water heater and all that. Okay, yeah, yeah. So in this clubhouse, there was a pegboard and we made a little pro shop. Oh, yeah, in this, yeah, in yeah. When we were, you know, we were like 11, mm -hmm. 12, and we were just starting to skate. We were skate down there all winter. We built little quarter pipes and stuff. So we had all of our old boards hanging on this pegboard. Gotcha, yeah. And we had little, you know, whatever t-shirts hanging up. Uh -huh. and it was like our little skate shop. Yeah, and yeah. we called it the Shred the Shed. The Shred Shed. Awesome. And so this is actually my uh, adult, adult version actual of version yeah. of that. I've just kept it going. But I... Um, I've always I've always collected stuff. I've always held on to things. Mm -hmm. Like I've had um, a lot of the stuff I've had for for years, and a, a lot of it I've turned through to. I've sold some uh -huh. stuff here and there, but um, I don't know. I've always been kind of a pack rat, and uh, always been into very rich visual uh -huh. sti yeah. stimulation. Like I it remember going into a skate shop for the first time, mm -hmm. that being like a really formative memory. Right, right. So when I got this house and I had this room, and I was like, what do I do with it? This was the obvious choice for me. <laughs> That's so awesome. Into a skate yeah. shop, yeah, or whatever you want to call it, yeah. action Ska sports. Yeah, action retail. sports. Because yeah. I love the bikes here too. Yeah, it's so awesome. Yeah, yeah. yep. Yeah, it really. Uh, my first uh, visit to a real skate shop was Altered Skates of America sure. in Alton, Illinois. Yeah. And yeah, they had the the decks in the back, just like this, up on the wall, yep. and then a whole row of these cases with all the trucks. Yep. So, I mean, this yep. is like literally like, yeah, yeah. you know, it's scaled down version, but this scaled is down, definitely, my yeah. memory of my very first skate shop experience is yeah. pretty much this. So. Me too. Yeah, yeah and, and that's really what I was going for. Like, I wanted to recreate that feeling mm -hmm. for myself, and you can never really, yeah, yeah. but you know, you can get close. I wanted it to be like, you came in here and you were in a skate shop. I didn't want it to be like, you came in here and you're in like a mixed use room where there's mm -hmm. a couch and a coffee yeah, table. Yeah, like, yeah. I wanted it to be like, this is like, you're looking at it and you're like, this I'm here. Mm -hmm. And it's not, you know, there's no, there's no part of it that's like for other stuff. Sure. And a lot of the stuff in here is, um, a lot of it's a lot of it's vintage, but the boards, to be honest with you, are mostly reissue. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the old school boards that are still like yeah. in that condition are thousands of. <laughs> I don't have each. that. Yeah. I don't have that kind of money. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. Like you know, you you just have to figure out like what do you want to put your money toward. And yeah, you know, if I can uh, accumulate these a little bit at a time, 60, 70, 80 bucks at a time, that I can do. But yeah. Like, this is, you know, $200,000 worth yeah. of skateboards if they're all vintage, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, no I mean? doubt, yeah. The first board I ever got was this. This is not original, mm -hmm. this is a, a, a re repro that my friend Matt did. They've never repopped that board. Okay. It's really good. It you looks did a great legit, job. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. But that was my first board, that same blue dip. Uh -huh. um, but I'll never forget going into the wave and for the first time, you know, begging my mom to get me a real board yeah yeah i had to upgrade uh -huh. and so she was like oh fine and she took me one night and I'll, I'll never forget going in and just being like you said just you yeah you're like Whoa. overwhelmed i've been by seeing this in the magazines dude, at the grocery store for and like, sure you know here you, yeah. you see it in real life and, and it's overwhelming it's like 
and I was such a, a skate rat at that point. You know, it was just mind blowing. But my mom was like definitely not down to pay like the kind of money that they were yeah. asking for for like a McGill or whatever it was mm -hmm. that I wanted. So I had to get that off the uh, off the clearance off the rack, clearance rack. Yeah, yeah it, and it was the only uh, company that I that I recognized. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, it's a vision. It's a vision, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, but anyway, it's it's become like a thing that I I kind of like. I just love it because yeah. for that nostalgic reason. In fact, that's why I'm drinking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> coffee mug right now yeah this was what preceded it oh this guy right Fair here Flex. the Veriflex voodoo. voodoo that is so awesome yeah so this was my uh my first board that my mom ordered me off the uh home shopping channel <laughs> um wow and this is a uh, something that i got on uh facebook marketplace uh, -huh. uh it was incredibly cheap this cabinet was like 30 bucks wow it weighs a ton uh-huh but um you know, I just kind of stickered it up like You've an old... got some amazing stickers on there. Too. Yeah, yeah. Stickered it up like an old school cabinet and uh, just thought... Bones Brigade. Whoa, where's yep. the finger there? Bones Brigade audio show. And there it is. Got to represent, man. Yeah. Um, oh, I've got uh, one of those patches, too, from back in the day. That you is joined, a, like, the club yeah, and they sent you that yeah, and, like, some book covers and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I, I wish I'd held, held on to those book covers. Yeah. But. Yeah, all this stuff is just, you know, it's all used. It, mm -hmm. looks, it looks cool from afar, but when you're looking up close, you're like, oh, it's just a bunch of used crap. Yeah. <laughs> no, but the used crap has, like, character and story behind mm -hmm. it. Yeah. What was the deck that was maybe the hardest? Like, that you wanted the longest that maybe you had to wait for or maybe was... Well, I, there wasn't... I don't know. You know, because when I was a kid, you just would take what you could get. Uh -huh. um, but the one that I wanted the most, I can tell you, by far was the thing that the one that everybody was anticipating which was the ray barbie uh -huh. ragdoll right right ray was everybody's favorite skater absolutely and, you know everybody loved public domain and mm -hmm. everybody loved the rubber all those boys. no comply Dude, variations the, that he was he just like do, yeah. he was it was like watching like trick photography uh -huh. so you were just like no yeah. way is he actually that good that was the one i was probably the most looking forward to and uh -huh. um also, Frank, I don't have a Frankie Hill blog yeah. anymore, but I was really excited, excited that about that. Because I, like Frankie, when I saw Ben this, I was like, this dude is like, yeah, so gnarly. And yeah. I was just like, dude, I can't wait for this dude to get a board. And he's still skating and making yeah. decks. Yeah, like he was on the podcast. Brand. Oh, was he? Yeah. yeah, yeah awesome. Yeah. And this is one that I, uh, I actually uh, had my friend Matt Cockrum. Uh, make me this this decal. Uh -huh. This is just a decal on like a okay. blank, and I just stuck it on there. It looks okay from a distance. <laughs> yeah, no, even from a couple feet yeah. away, it still looks okay. Yeah, and then here's one like classic board, but oh, you know I had yeah. these little decals made. Okay, yeah, I was gonna the, say because the new the repo pops say the original, the original or something like that. Yeah, so these are just that was stickers smart. on there. Yeah. yeah, and again, I do this. Not to trick anybody. Like, uh -huh. I would never sell this as, like, an original right. board. But it, it, it's just for my own if personal... If you're wanting to recreate vibes down here and yeah. feel a certain way, yeah. then... You just got to yeah, do you know. what you're going to do, yeah. I yeah. love the, the Tom Knox down there. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. I, I got that in a trade. Yeah. Thebo, classic kid, Jason uh -huh. Jesse. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of a rare one. I think they did maybe, like, 100 or 150 of these maybe, oh, like, wow. 10 years ago. Uh -huh. This is another one that I really love. This was a, a graphic that my friend Chad had. Now, he had the original uh, uh -huh. Joker. Okay. The the, yeah, before they yeah. got the cease and desist. But I uh -huh. love, I don't know what it is about this graphic. This is probably my second favorite graphic uh -huh. of all time. I don't know what it is about it, but. It's got that comic book vibe. I just and, yeah, love it, dude. That is awesome. It. And Thebo is so awesome that you yeah. just, you know, you got to love it. And then we got the bike section. Yeah, I was going to say, tell us about yeah. the bikes a little bit. My first real freestyle bike was was this not this actual one this uh -huh. is one i just but this I, model this was the exact one that i mm -hmm. had yeah like th these two bikes were like my childhood this is the one mm -hmm. that i had this is the one that my friends had and i sort of coveted because yeah. i was like a, i was like a haro guy uh -huh. but in my neighborhood i felt like if you were to roll up to the school on a haro you you had to like no, you, you had doing. yeah yeah because that was the bike that all the best riders were okay. riding. So I was like, I got to get a GT. <laughs> yeah, I got to <laughs> work my way up before. But I, I've I've graduated up yeah. to Haro. So these are all like Haro lineage uh -huh. uh, models. This is the 2016 Dennis McCoy. That is beautiful. Um, yeah, the 2017 Haro Team Sport. This was the um, 21 
uh, Air Master, and mm -hmm. then this is the one I always ride, which is the 21 Groundmaster. So this one came out like a year or two ago? A couple of years ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are beautiful. Yeah. So I figured, you know, my basement needed to have a, uh, a, bike, yeah. a bike shop. And a lot of shops back in the they day were multi, did, yeah, multi yeah, sports. For sure. and, yeah, yeah I, I don't know. For me, it's like I always just wanted to, like, hang on to the things that I like to do, and I never bought into, like, you're too old for anything. Like, you should stop doing something yeah, because you're yeah. too old for it. I feel um, the same way. Yeah. Okay, so Matt, you're also a co-host of the Bones Brigade Audio Show podcast, yeah. which is a really fantastic podcast. If anyone is interested in 80s and early 90s skateboarding, definitely check it out. Yes. And Matt's pretty humble. He doesn't go around like promoting, hey, I'm, I'm Matt from the podcast. That's but true. Uh, you can see uh, this podcast is syndicated on iTunes yeah. and Spotify and everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys have had some pretty heavy hitting guests on there. We have. And um, it is really awesome. Yeah. And so I'd, I'd love to hear a little bit, like, what are some highlights of the show for you? Like, what are your favorite, um, maybe something, favorite person you spoke to or favorite thing you learned? Or Dude, I, so we, we're on our 50-something episode now. So mm -hmm. we've had, I mean, dude, I don't even know where to start with that question. We've had so <laughs> many great people on. I mean, so many amazing people um, have been on this show. Um I mean, you know, having Tony Hawk on was a pretty big deal. Yeah, I imagine that. Um, you know, Steve Size has been on five times. Yeah. Um, Sean Mortimer was very, very kind early on, like in our second mm -hmm. episode. I remember listening to that. Yeah. One. His I insights mean, were pretty awesome. He, yeah, but he really threw us a bone uh -huh. on there because um, it gave our it yeah, gave it an immediate get, shot it's... of, like, legitimacy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Lance Mountain was great. Mm -hmm. We've had Johnny Rad on. Yeah, we I tried, remember we, the Johnny Rad. That's, yeah. yeah. Frankie, we had Frankie Hill, uh, Brandon Chapman, and Jake mm -hmm. Bradley from Public Domain were okay, on yep. at the same time. Uh, we've, I mean, we've had so many great guests on. Colin McKay. Um, I mean, Jeremy Ray was just Dang, on. you're just like listing off like I know. some of the most influential skaters do, of that era. I know. Yeah. It's, cra it's crazy, man. Yeah. And that's not even scratching the surface. Bobby Puglio. So many people have mm -hmm. been on that show. Jim Fitzpatrick from Paul Perelt has right. been on a bunch. And so um, you guys uh, started out focusing on the Bones Brigade videos and kind of yeah. stories. And yeah. then it, it's a lot of Bones Brigade. But I know like you've done some with like the Nickelodeon Skate TV. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. So we had... Um, one of the biggest requests that we got was to talk about skate TV. Mm -hmm. And we decided, yeah, we'll go ahead and just, because it was a Stacy Peralta. Yeah, so it's kind of in comp. scope. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. in scope. Craig and Craig Stesick and Stacy Peralta were more or less behind that. So we had, um, we had Mark Hunt on, who was the creator of skate TV. Okay, and right he on, gave yeah. Us, like, we did a whole episode with him. And yeah, we've done... Um, I don't know. We we started the way it started out was it was originally just going to be me and Larry reviewing all the videos. Uh huh. And um, we just immediately were like, what if we got a guest? But you know, have a guest helping us review the video instead of just having a guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so now we have video review episodes. We have ones that are straight up just like an interview with somebody. Mm -hmm. um, and we have the skate TV stuff, and we've done some ones where we talk about the music and Powell videos and stuff like that. So. And there's a lot cooking. Have you guys done Chuck Treese yet? Chuck sure. Treese has been on. He's yeah. been on, yeah. 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 Awesome. So we do these interviews. Uh, called, they're called Intelligence Report episodes. Uh -huh. Those are the ones that are just interviews. They're not video reviews. Sure. So Chuck was on for one of those. Um, such a nice dude. Mm -hmm. um, I'll have to go back and find 56 yeah. episodes. It's is, something is like definitely that. A, yeah, that's it's a, a lot. That's yeah. a lot. So I'm, I'll have to go back and yeah. check that one out. Yeah, but I mean, it, it just started, you know, I, I never had any ambition to be a podcaster or do anything like uh -huh. that. I just got a call from Larry one day, and he was like, I have this idea for a podcast I kind of want to do. Mm -hmm. you want to co-host it with me? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> sure. I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those things where I'm like, well, I'd rather give it a shot and if it doesn't work out. Yeah, then, yeah. Then. I mean, you have such a lot. Like, this is not like... Oh, I have to like pretend like you already love skateboarding, <laughs> right? You are so? like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> it, it is a, a yeah. perfect fit. I mean, yeah. there are a few people. I mean, you and Larry do. You got great chemistry like Thanks, together. Man. Yeah, and yeah, it Thank is. You. It, you guys do so awesome with it. That's cool. Uh, yeah. I'll show you where I did the podcast. If you want okay. To see yeah. <clears throat> 
So here it is. This is the studio, and this is where I work from home. Uh -huh. But this is the this is but where every episode the, where of the show has happens. has been done. Yep. And you guys only do audio. It's only audio. Have you considered like YouTube, or is it like no? This is the audio show, we so we're going to keep it audio. Yeah, we have a YouTube page, but it's it. There's no. Um, we're not. I I absolutely hate podcasts that are like. A bunch of screens of Zoom, a sure. Zoom call. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather just listen to it than watch. Than watch that. a Zoom. Yeah. It'd be one thing if we had like the Nine Club set up where we could we all got together at yeah. a table or whatever. That would be different. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's just it's just audio. So um, and we've had we've had people. Um, I have a bunch of stuff that people have sent us. It's not all out, but mm -hmm. um, somebody actually like a, I guess oh uh, yeah, you know, called a fan of the show or uh -huh. whatever. Painted, listener, painted yeah. that listener, yeah. You've got the Tony Hawk episode. Yeah, I had to have yeah. that one printed out. Um, that is so cool. Yeah. Do you or Larry do the, the graphics for those? Do you have a friend who contributes? So or? there is a, a friend of Larry's, um, Ed McCurdy. He okay. does all the episode graphics. Um, nice. And he's the best. Mm -hmm. Like He does such a great job. They look like legit VHS. I know. Cup, you know yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't have the skills for that. Uh -huh. He does. And... Um, so thank you. That's Ed. so cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for uh, sharing with us Dude, today. Absolutely, and giving man. Us a tour. Yeah, this is so cool. Thanks for coming by. Yeah. Hopefully, it inspires some other dudes to like. Hey, yes. man. It doesn't have to be a man cave, but no, you no. Know, grab some of your favorites yeah. and you know, just whatever, man. Like, life's too short to worry about. Yeah. Whether or not you have an entire room of your uh -huh. basement dedicated, or to if it's just one or two board, your favorite whatever, board dude. you can yeah. hang on the wall. For sure. Or, yeah. 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 Yeah, very yeah cool. if you're in St. Louis, look me up. Come by the Shred yeah. Shed. And I'll give you a tour. Nothing's for sale, unfortunately. <laughs> and, everything, maybe, and everything. Maybe the candy with the play money for yeah, the kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can definitely come by and uh, you can have a Butterfinger. There you house, go. <laughs> so. That's awesome. All right, man. Very cool. Well, thank you so much. And then if people want to learn more about you or the podcast, um, you've got an Instagram. Yep, it's just, just Matt, Matt Picker. Picker. Yep. And then you've got a YouTube where you've shared some stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's and a video of the shop in, mm -hmm. in a different, a little bit of a different incarnation. It's come a long way. Sure, yep. Um, and then Bones Brigade Audio Show Podcast. Yep. Where do they find that? Uh, you can find that on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify. You can look us up on YouTube or on Instagram. We have a website, just thebonesbrigadeaudioshow.com. Mm -hmm. so, right on. Yeah, well, I highly recommend people check it out. Thank it you. It's awesome. Yeah. Cool.